5. So here is here are our problems. Take note that Venn diagram talks about uh, use of different shapes and figures to denote sets, which, which also includes the elements, non-elements, joint disjoint sets, and the universal set. So in answering number one, it's very important for us to uh, always refer in our problem that there are only 40 students again there are 40 students interviewed these 40 students we don't know who they are but these 40 students is our universal set okay our universal set we should not exceed in 40 because that is the problem is concerned on so to denote universal set in our venn diagram we all know that we could use a rectangular figure to denote our universal set, right? And we can label it with U. Uh, let's use another font style so that we can actually uh, differentiate uh, the universal set from the other sets, okay? So let's use the Times New Roman font. Yeah, that's our universal set, okay? And let us now examine the given for number one. In number one, there are three different uh, groups of students. I actually, there are four, but there are three different classifications for those students. Students who were able to tour Cebu City, students who were able to tour Baguio City, and students who were able to tour Dapitan City. Again, let us try to make this uh, make sense of these groups. This is pre-COVID time. Ayan meaning they were still able to travel, okay? So we have three different groupings. First, we have students who were able to visit Cebu. Second, students who were able to visit Baguio. And third, students who were able to visit Dapitan. Yeah. So why do we specify them? So that we, are, we know that we are going to use a specific figure for this probably circular figure to denote the groupings. So we have three different groups. Number one, let's start with group, uh, Cebu City. We can make here a circle representing Cebu City. We can also label it with C as our Cebu City. Okay. Another group is a group of students who are able to tour Baguio. Uh, let the color to be used is blue to represent Baguio. Yeah, so this is the group of students who are able to tour Baguio. Let there be, okay. Yeah. Before we proceed to the third group, which is those students who were able to tour the Pitan City, there is an additional given at the bottom. The given talks about a group of students who were able to tour both Cebu and Baguio cities both Cebu and Baguio cities. This means that there are, out of 40 students, there are students who, correct, uh, who has the characteristic of both groups. This means that in our Venn diagram, those two groups are joint. Again, those groups are joint because there are some elements say students who were able to tour both Cebu and Baguio. Those groups of students were part of students who were able to tour Cebu, and they were also part of those students who were able to tour Baguio. In short, they are the students that are common to both groups. Both groups, in short, groups again are joint. So, so to make our Venn diagram joint, we can just simply move this here. Uh, let's use transparent selection ah sorry for a while let us use a transparent selection yeah it's not it's not it's not doing its job for a while pardon okay yeah and transparent selection independent anyway uh let's delete na lang this one and insert another circle, which is the circle for Baguio. Again, this time, 
both groups are now connected because there are some elements that characterize both groups. As for the third group, there were no specification that students were able to tour Cebu and Dapitan or Cebu and, ba uh, and Baguio and Dapitan. Dapitan stands alone. So we are going to make a separate circle here representing Dapitan. Yeah. Or circular figure. Yeah. C, B, and D. Before you will answer some problems, it's very important for you to determine the correct form of the Venn diagram. So this is our Venn diagram for A1. Now, let's now put a specific number of elements. This time, this is different from the representation of elements in lesson number one of the same unit in the previous module, module number four. Because in, in the lesson number one, representation of sets, we are placing each element one by one. At this time, we are now placing a count number of students okay so do not confuse yourselves so the hint here in making your venn diagram is first you need to start with the statement with the joint sets okay this is the statement that's representing the joint sets of uh, cebu and baguio city you will start with the intersections, right? Do not start placing five so for Cebu, 16 for Baguio, 12 for Dapitan, and three for, for in the middle. You might be saying, ito yung gagawin ninyo, ha? You might say, I will place five here. I will place 16 here. I will place, let's say, three, because that's where Baguio and City is connected. And I will place here 12. Uh, and then that's your answer. No, po. because if you're going to review, look at the circular figure of the Cebu. Instead of five, well, let me try to uh, erase this for that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, let's use white. Yeah. Look at the circular figure of C. It, it has now five and three. So it automatically say we have eight students who were able to tour Cebu, but in the given there are only five. Okay, that is the reason why do not do not place automatically all the numbers. You need to start with the common region. Okay, as for oh, if you're going to do it the same thing here, yeah, dito, look at that. Okay, it doesn't say. 16 anymore for those students who were able to tour Baguio, but 16 plus 3, which is 19, that exceeds the given. So again, we will always we should always start with the set the common area. So we will start here. The answer is a three. These students were able to tour Baguio and Cebu cities. This is the connection. Okay. Other hint to do that is you start from bottoms up. Okay, bottoms up. Okay, you start the three. Then we are going to place 12 to tour the Pitan. Since there's no connection for the Pitan, it's very easy to place here 12. Next, 16 were able to tour Baguio. Again, do not place 16 here because it will make the number of students who were able to tour Baguio 19. There are already three students there. To make the set B 16, you just need to add here three, 13, sorry, 13. Because 13 plus three, that makes the whole 16. Okay? So it it narrows, it it's what do you call it? It uh, filters or it, it gipagamay niya ang number says because we already have the connection here. And as for those students who were able to tour Cebu, Instead of five here, it will just be two because two plus three, it makes five as a whole. So that is how you will place the number of students there. But again, it's not yet complete. The reason why it's not yet complete, because we have the universal set here saying that there are 40 students. But if we're going to examine our given, you have 12 plus 13, which is 25, plus 3, 28, plus 2, 30. 
but there are 40 students. In short, there are 10 students in this class in the given who were not able to tour Cebu, Baguio, nor Dapitan, nor any of those three, nor the intersection. Wala. So to place them, we just simply need to place 10 outside the circular figures, but still inside the universal set. It's, a, it's, it's up to you where you place, place it as long as it's outside the circular figures. You may place it here, place it here, 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 uh, or he, uh, sorry, or uh, here, but do not place outside. So I will just place it here. To check whether your answer is correct, add all numbers you can see in your Venn diagram. So again, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 13 is 18, plus 12 is 30, plus 10, that makes 40. Okay? As for number 2, again, we start by replacing a universal set and label it with U. Okay. Same with number 2, you have three different you have three circular figures later on. Those students were able to tour Cebu. Those students were able to tour Baguio. And those students were able to tour Dapitan. But before you place them, always see to it or observe muna if there are some intersections, such as the other two at the bottom. So we have students who are able to tour Cebu and Baguio. In short, Cebu and Baguio circular figures for Venn, your Venn diagram must be connected. There are also students who are able to tour Baguio and the Pitan. In short, the Baguio, the letter B uh, circular figure and the letter D circular figure must also be interconnected. So how do we make this? So we start first with students who are able to tour Cebu. Cebu. Okay, you may label it, it with C. Uh, labeling is also very important, okay? Again, Cebu and Baguio are interconnected, so you need to uh, join them. Yeah, and then you may label here B. This is the reason, this is the consequence of this statement at the bottom that there were three students were able to tour Baguio and Cebu. And the other consequence of the last statement, those who were able to tour Baguio and the Pitan will make the uh, B, set B and set D connected. So we're also going to connect set B and set D. Okay. Yeah. And label them as D. And it doesn't matter which is bigger or one. It doesn't... Uh, uh, we, dis we disregard which is bigger than the other, as long as we could actually present joint and disjoint sets. Okay, there are no statements saying that Cebu and Dapitan are connected, so we stay as it is. So, how to answer that? Again, we, my hint is, start from bottoms up. Okay, bottoms up. Or start with the intersections. Again, seven were able to tour Baguio and Dapitan. So seven were able to tour Baguio and Dapitan. That is in this intersection. And then three were able to tour Baguio, uh, Cebu and Baguio. Three. Okay. Next, 12 were able to tour Dapitan. Since seven is already here, to make it 12, you just need to place five. Uh, five plus two, seven is 12. Let's skip Muna Baguio, ha? Let's proceed to the, the first given. Five, we're able to tour Cebu. So five, we already have three here. So you just need to place here two. And why do we skip Baguio? Because I would like you to uh, solve first yung mga, yung mga nasa edges, yung hindi masyadong uh, complicated. Now we go to the complicated, what I mean about complicated. So Baguio, 16, we're able to tour Baguio. In the circular figure of Baguio, we already have numbers 3 and 7. To sum it up, 3 plus 7 is 10. Okay? Baka kasi lalagyan nyo pa rin ng 13 dito. Kasi 3 plus 13 is, is 16. Okay? But we have 7 here. Ah, wag na lang sir. Gawin na natin 6. Kasi 7 plus 6 is 13. Okay? Pwede din. 
Pero, I, I mean, 9 pala, 9. 9 plus 7 is 16, yung given. But you need to understand that what we're going to place here must complete the 16. So we already have 3, we already have 7. What we need to add is 6. So checking. Circle of green, 2 plus 3, 5. That's correct. Circular figure of pink, 7 plus 5, 12. Circular figure of blue, we have 3, 6, 7, 16. Ready, correct. The final one is to complete your Venn diagram by reaching the, the limit of 40 students is your universal set. So you have 2 plus 3, 5, plus 6, 11, plus 7, 18, plus 5, 23. What we need for it to become 40 is an amount of or number of students. We have 17 students. That completes your Venn diagram. That's for your practice exercise A. Practice exercise B, simply just, kasi problem solving to eh. When you talk about problem solving in mathematics, there is a problem that you need to answer. Okay? Your Venn diagram here is not the problem you need to answer. Probably that is the problem for number letter A. But for letter B, your Venn diagram is just the tool to answer letter B. So letter B, referring to A, how many students were not able to tour any of the three cities for each situation? To answer that, yung mga number of students na wala sa mga circular figure. So for number, for number, uh, let's make it here. B, uh, B, I place it here. B1, and then I have here B2. So for B1, okay, this is practice exercise B referring to number one of letter A. How many were how many were able, not able to tour any of the three cities? The answer is yung nasa labas sa mga circular figure, but still part of the universal set, which is the answer is N. As for B2, same the answer for the to the question how many students were not able to tour any of the three cities is the number or the the cumulative number of those two of your Venn, your Venn diagram, which is located outside the circular figures, but still inside the universal set, which is 17. Okay? So this completes our practice exercise A to B of your module number five, which is concerned on unit two and lesson three of the Venn diagram. Okay? So this is how we do how we answer problems involving Venn diagram. For another more complicated problem, I'm not uh, let's not use the word more complicated, more challenging problem. Okay, it's it's better to say challenging than complicated. It shall be presented in the next video, which is concerned on the practice exercise C of the same module. Hopefully you've learned. Review this video in preparation for the upcoming assessments. Thank you. And goodbye.